Hey, I'm Nick Hathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Out of the Park Baseball 21. This is episode number 14 of our Worst to First series. Two things that are going to happen in this episode are the Rule 5 draft. Good opportunity for a team like us. We're not going to have players sitting, waiting in the wings that other teams are going to want to take and put straight into their Major League side. A team like mine that is so down on quality very well could have a 25, 26 year old out there who is in AAA that could actually fit into what we have. So uh, we will be taking a look at that uh, for sure. In the meantime, though, the other thing is my staff. Uh, there are tons of vacancies on my staff. I forgot to renew what we had, but even then, a lot of our coaching staff just isn't good to begin with. So I'm going to look at my current staff and see if there's anyone that I want to promote to a higher position, uh, like a sabermetrics guy with average reputation and a well, normal personality is not great, uh, but Zach Livingston... Scout value, current year stats. So he's looking at what they're going to do. Stealing, leave pitcher hooks, favor, use infield shifts, use opener. Uh, he said, okay, guy, I think we might promote him one level. He's got seven years with an average reputation. Uh, so yeah, Livingston, ready to go. Um, let's go ahead and move you away from the rookie league up into the low A. So move him up a spot from where he was. There you go. And even though you have fair reputation as a contact guy, uh, you actually still have three guys above you. You'd have to go all the way to double A to find our first vacancy, so he's going to stay put. So really, that's the, the only movement. I mean, we could move this pitching coach up to triple A, but before I do something like that, I think I want to look and see what we have. Uh, now, my coaching staff is really not good. <laughs> not good. I mean, Cervais at least has average reputation. The team trainer is good. Uh, that's it. I mean, that that's that's all you guys have? Okay. Uh, fine. So we'll move on down. Uh, I almost want to move Darren Brown down, but he's at least personable. Uh, down to double A and find somebody better and redo our triple A. I mean, double A was terrible. Can we? Let's, you know, let's just do it. Yeah, and based on those, maybe we want to move you more than one level. Let's, let's. Take you up a second level. We're gonna make you our class A manager. All right, so uh, AAA staff completely vacant right now, and then we fill out a few guys in here. Uh, but it's it's time. I need to find. No, not all. Uh, I'm going to need to find, here we go, some coaches. Wow, nothing more than average reputation even available. Uh, let's see if we could find somebody in here that's not asking for a ton of money, like Leandro. He wants a head coach. Hmm. 
We'll see if he accepts formal occupation. Oh, hitting coach. I'm a three year deal. And we'll do it for 80,000, see if he takes that. Okay, we got a pitching coach here. He wants a lot of money though. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, it's a little more than I'd like, but that's, that's still not that bad. Uh, we'll drop him down to 116 on the offer. Three years. The question is, do you want experience or someone young or someone uh, more affordable, like a manager who's asking for 380 and Brett Butler. Ooh, nice. Small ball kind of guy. Personable, conventional, yeah, let's do it. Manager, oh, he wants that 380. Let's go for four years and 360. Okay, there are some Really good reputation kind of guys out there, actually. But that's who we need to get into the major league level, not the minors. All right, that's AAA. Let's go back to our personnel for a second. Can I do that? I need to get back into my screen. Da -da, da -da, da -da, front office. There it is. Personnel. Okay, so we need a hitting coach for double A. Let's go ahead and try to get that one right now as well. We'll go for somebody average. Seventy-five. Glad that he wants multiple years. Let's go ahead and go for multiple years. And that's a start. Next up, rule five, draft. So this is the best talent right now. So two and a half relievers. Kyle Free. Okay, that's my guy. <laughs> I need to do something about that. And Mills is my guy. And unlike the others, Mills actually still has a little bit of potential to develop. Uh, so I need to take these two, and I need to bring 
promote to uh, Seattle for now. Get them off this list. potential. There's a couple of them. They're closers. Not sure how they're on this list. But all the best potential ones are closers. And Javier, he's got really good stuff already. I think this is somebody I would very much try to go after. And potentially one of these guys. Doey looks a little bit further along. I mean, you could put him... Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, you could put him in to your reliever pool. Sit on him for a year, getting... You know, limited innings in that first year. Allow him to develop a bit. See some of that potential. So uh, there's two guys that I could see us going for. Uh, but let's take a look at batters before we move on. Because there is some potential players here. Uh, Florial, center fielder, two and a half of three stars. Mostly home run and discipline. That's that's not bad. That's not bad. He'll strike out quite a bit though. Good speed. Definitely a center fielder. He'll play all three positions. That that could make him a good fourth outfielder. Uh, as a rookie, give him time to uh, develop his potential a little bit. Okay, these are the best ones. None of them are mine, so haven't messed anything up on that group. All right, well, I think that sets us up for the Rule 5 draft. All right, is there any way to see? See what I have. Uh, it's rosters and transactions, I guess. Fletcher looks like he's ready to come up. Kalinich, just 21, but he might be ready to come up. At least AAA, if not major leagues. There a way to look at just your rule five guys? I mean, it's all the hashtags, but there's Walton, Akamir. There are quite a few. There are definitely quite a few that are eligible. But I'm not seeing anyone who's at risk anymore. I do now have 31 players on my active roster so they certainly won't all come out of training camp there's guys here that are <laughs> trash yeah there's there's still some players to uh, release and ease up I mean right now we have 78 on our rookie league roster 
just 15, 14 AAA, AA. So, you know, 10 and 10 move up. That's still almost 60 and 50 here. And we need those to come down quite a bit. So I, I will be trimming, trimming the chaff a little bit uh, here shortly. But let's go ahead and do it. Let's get into the Rule 5 draft. Uh, draft order in round one. Ooh, you have to offer that kind of money, apparently. Right? Is that what that is? I'm assuming that is the exact amount that the player would earn if you pick them. So we're fifth on the list. And it'd basically be a $6 million, or at least for the first round, anyway. Um, Go ahead and start draft. Oh, are you going to do that much for each one? Well, let's just go right to us then. All right. All players, that's good. Current overall, let's see who's on that list. Again, like I said, there was a few players that I was looking at. Uh, there's Florial. Best one with potential bats left. Sign abilities, easy. Two and a half. We both see him as three. Not great gap power according to the OSA, but. That uh, might be what we do. Do we want to spend six million on this guy to bring him in now? I, it may be worth it. It may not be worth it. Let's see on that potential though. Doey's available as well. Tiano, three-star potential catcher, but he hasn't gone above. Uh, he did do a little bit of double-A, three games only. Wow. Look at that. Six wins above replacement. OPS over one. But th that's at high A. I mean, that's... I don't think that's somebody who's ready to even spend the, that backup role. Uh, Florial, though. Florial, or oh, Javier's there as well. Oh, man. Uh, he could be a real upgrade. He's just 23. They're both just 23. I mean, potential to go after these two guys. He's got such great stuff. It's just movement and control aren't great. OSA has a better scouting accuracy than they do than we do. They do think he's a little better on control, but he's got some good pitches. Really good curveball, really good change up. A good five pitch guy with excellent stuff. But he's extreme fly ball, which means a fair amount of home runs, but in a stadium like ours, that's not as bad. It's not as bad as that could be. Uh, he did do AAA in 2019 for a little while. It's hard to count those stats. Double A is where he really did his thing that year. Uh, this last year, four and a half, 23 starts at Double A. Only ended up giving up 12 home runs. It's not that bad. I think we've got our man right here because my starting pitching was so weak. And I've got an outfield 
of up and comers. Wait, wait, wait. What's this? Two and a half, three and a half, first baseman? Oh, we just don't think he's anywhere near as good. Low and very low. Uh, it's hard to tell what you have there. First base, left field. Yeah, that's a risk. That's a definite risk getting that guy. We just don't know enough about him. I want to say I think Stowe could be a five star guy. But again, as just a reliever, that's not as important. I think you're definitely looking at Floreal or Javier first. If they're both there, maybe we go for both. They're both young. Even if they cost us a little bit, it's not like we can't turn around and make some trades. Let's get back into the screen, I think. Yeah, drag and drop. All right, so we'll draft him, bring him up. I mean, at worst, we gotta give him back, right? <laughs> Get to that second round. See if Floreal's still there. Justin Dunn. Where was this guy? Oh, it's a reliever. Okay. Got plenty of those. Did I not have any more expanded roster spots? Was that our last spot? Could have been. No, we're still in the draft. Okay, so round two, money goes down a lot. We're down to 1.5 million. Doey's still there, and Floreal's still there. And this Brent Rooker guy. But my scouting accuracy is really low on all three of them. But the money that we would have to pay these guys is a lot lower now. We have average. Let's go back to what it would be with our scouting. Okay, it's just Florial. Yeah, there's Florial. I think we take Florial. Really doesn't hurt much. You gotta pay the guys a little bit of money, but outside of that, you're getting a young player, decent ability. Why not? Third round. And 
look who's still there. This is the kind of guy, oh gosh, he's got good stuff too. But we are very low. They are very low. But it's you figure it's got to be somewhere in between this, right? He's two to two and a half stars with uh, maybe a four star type potential. The OSA loves this guy's stuff. Unhittable slider, unhittable changeup, good fastball. Did a little bit of triple A. Well, not a little bit. He did a lot of triple A. 56 innings in 2019. But they dropped him way down. His whip was 1.96. This guy was quite hittable. But again, I'm not looking to put a winner together this next year. I'm looking to put a winner together down the road. So if this guy is still developing to his potential, He's still developing to his potential, and I could probably put him on the roster and suck it up. If he gives up some runs, he gives up some runs. But if he develops into the potential he has, he could become unhittable. So I'm going to take that. I end up getting really all three players that I was looking at other than uh, Brent Rooker. The only one left. We'll see if Brent Rooker's still here in the fourth round. And then we'll take a, a little bit of a look at him. And then that's that's it. I mean, there, there's nobody else. Um, so two and a half, three and a half is OSA. That's low. I'm um, two and a half. Two, two and a half. Oof, we're all over the place. Uh, he's not worth it. We don't know enough about that player. He could be a real bust and a waste. So that's that's it. I'm done. Okay, we... Oh, there you go. There's the end. Apparently we're the only team still picking. So we brought in three guys. That's aggressive but for a team like ours. It can't hurt us. It's only going to make us better. Oh, now you're telling me it hasn't been finished? I don't want to auto-draft. I just don't. Skip this pick. There we go. Now you're giving me... Options, anyway. Now it's finished. So we lost one player. A reliever who really was not high on our list. So I'm very surprised that he got picked up by another team. But uh, I'm oh, certainly okay with that. And the three guys we got coming back. Is that the... Oh no, that's just free agents. I'm going to have a few guys, I think, that need to get placed, right? No, okay, they're automatic. Yeah, there you go. There's Dewey. And can I get a better scattering report? on each of the guys that we signed. And 
got a starting pitcher. Where are you hiding? Javier. I don't want to do a whole week. Let's do a few days. Huh? All right. So, so we current ability rated two and a half stars relative to the MLB. Potential four stars is what my scout thinks. So there you go. Two and a half, four stars. We already had average. Uh, difference is his movement's not as good. Really does not have great control. He still needs to develop that a bit. Uh, but again, this is a guy that I don't mind having him sit in the bullpen, limited innings, limited production. That's okay. Because we have time to develop him into the potential he has. Uh, Florial, two and a half. Two and a half. That's okay. Okay, I mean, I guess. Yeah, very high accuracy now. He's balanced. And again, he could play the whole outfield. Uh, so he might not be bad to, to sit there for a year. Uh, we took him away from the Yankees, so uh, that makes perfect sense to me that he would be sitting there waiting in Philadelphia. Okay, what about Javier? Uh, two and a half, three. Okay, he does come out as a three-star guy. High knowledge, two and a half, three stuff. Yeah, it's a good pitcher. It's a good pitcher. Uh, he's definitely ready and from Houston. So it makes perfect sense that those three guys come from three top teams in the game. Uh, that they're waiting in the wings they just can't get out of the minor leagues I do like the rule of five draft and, and what it brings prevents you from doing too much you know like like say what the mariners did to edgar martinez edgar martinez made the hall of fame but it was close it was tight if he wasn't so old by the time they called him up he would have put those numbers up sooner because he was fantastic in AAA. The problem was he was a third baseman by trade, even though he ended up at DH. He was a third baseman by trade, and they already had a long-term starting third baseman who was good. And so he had to wait, and he had to wait for a spot to open up, and it, it took a long time. You know, he, he wasted at least two years, if not three, at AAA waiting for his turn, his opportunity. And the Rule 5 draft is there to try to prevent that a bit. You know, catch those guys out and, and get them. Uh, let's go back to our day-by-day. -day. It looks like Florial might be the only one who's eh, wishy-washy, two-and-a-half, two-and-a-half kind of star guy. Uh Funny thing is he was the first one that I drafted of the three. All right, so we get the hitting coach. That's what we want to keep an eye on is these guys, and that's why I'm taking it one day at a time right now. Oh, Nestor Cortez. Okay, we got him. We got Nestor Cortez back. Okay, we got our hitting coach and Brett Butler. Manage the triple A side. Things are starting to shape up pretty nicely. There is so much more depth in the minor league system than what we had previously. There are so many more major league capable players than what we had last season. I think my coaching staff is already seeing an improvement from what it was. So many of those guys had zero reputation. Still got a month till preseason begins. But we're definitely a team growing uh, in profile. That doesn't mean we're going to be good next season. 
uh, far from it. Uh, this is still a team that's not there. This is a team that's going from, you know, the worst or next to worst offense in the American League, mediocre pitching, but I think pitching's going to be a little bit better this season. I think Hitting-wise, we're going to be significantly better, but significantly better still might mean, you know, like 12th. And pitching might be 7th or 8th. So we're still not at that point where we're going to suddenly win a ton of games. But our minor league system, I mean, we didn't win a single league. We only had one team even finish in second. Every single team was below 500 throughout the entire system. I think we're going to unload up bunch of these half star guys in the next episode we're going to start reshaping that minor league system a little bit uh, and i'll have players available to throw into trades to upgrade and, and get what's out there a little more easily so i think we've really really taken a couple steps in the right uh, direction very much in the right, right direction so that's going to do it for this episode on Decathlon Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one out there. Uh, be safe, everybody. Bye for now.